and I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. It's another somewhat decent day and I'm ready to pour some paint. Today's painting is just going to be uh, some leftover paint, but I'm going to do a flip cup this time. And I've got a bunch of colors. I have a 10 by 10, oh no, this is an 8 by 8 canvas that I've already prepped with blue tape and the push pins. And I prepped it, um, it's Creative Inspirations um, canvases. And let's see, I have to spray it again. Get a little spray right now. Um, I find that their canvases take a lot of water to like really tighten up and sound like a drum like I like. Let me just go give it a quick spray. I prepped it. So normally I spray the back, rub it in, and I let it uh, develop over the day or a few hours depending on the temperature so that it can... <clears throat> So I could tighten up. Anyway, but before I do that, I do want to show you some dried paintings real quick. So these were my, um, I've got a new setup here, a little bit higher, so I'm just going to assume you can see. These are my flip cups, my double flip cups. This was the one on the right. Colors are dried real nice and a lot of that uh, metallics dried real nicely. That was the first one, and here's the second one, which it has a lot of sheen to. It's actually really, really pretty, and I like the um, the red the metallics mixing in with the magenta here. Real nice. So hopefully you guys can see that. I will adjust with my next video because it's higher up, and I got to get up on a chair to see. Um, here's the metallic shimmer. <laughs> that um, I did the short video on. I was just playing uh, with it by myself and a lot of comments on the blue and the blue is really, it was that sapphire metallic, real pretty. And um, caught a lot of the purples on the ends and then of course my nice green pops of color, but real nice. Hopefully you guys can see that well enough. And then I just wanted to quickly share with you because they will be on their way shipping next week. But the um, varnished final version of these two uh, ribbon pours that I did got a nice, good, smooth varnish look on them without any brush marks. I'm real happy the way they came out. And hopefully you guys can see that. So they will be on their way. Um, I have a little bit of uh, leeway with... Um, the other two because they do want feathers and so I'll do those off camera or maybe I'll start it and then just show the ending of it but some really nice little caterpillars of uh, the colors in there and then another one that was hers which actually was my last flip cup the candy line wasn't my last flip cup but I had done this one was just with some turquoise the blue manganese blue hue and silver and black in it so those will be all shipped off Okay, so let me get my gloves on. So I'm, I know I have like way too much paint here, but I have these empty bottles and when the bottles have like, you know, just the tiny bit left in them, it makes me cuckoo for coconuts. And I'm trying to always save that last little bit of paint. So I just kept squeezing them and squeezing them out into this cup. And then I said, oh, what other colors do I have that I'm kind of hanging around here too long and so and I have way too many colors in the cup but let me just go over them with you it's uh, uh, quickly it's got white it has deco art berry metallic it has and, ma and mind you these are just like squirts and some of them were, were a little bit more than the others but pretty much just what's left at the bottom of my paint bottles liquitex dioxazine purple folk art aquamore pearl deco art peacock pearl Deco Art Mink Pearl, Artist Loft Deep Magenta, the Delta Ceramic Coat uh, was a Lilac Dust, Deco Art Glorious Gold, Artist Loft Naples Yellow, Craft Smart Bright Yellow, Artist Loft, oh, you know, while you're doing that, well, I'm naming them off, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over, which you can tell it's way too much pain, and, oh, and it's not even a cup I normally use, well, 
there we go look how pretty that looks i'm gonna make it face you so you can see how pretty it looks um artist soft orange apple barrel king's gold deco art ocean blue there was some silver mix in there i don't know who made it probably deco art um deco art green tea artist loft lemon yellow artist loft deep yellow craft smart orchid and it was a mix with an apple barrel grape jam did it a long time ago deco art baby blue and craft smart fuchsia those were my colors and it's a lot of paint it's gonna be way too much way too much um i have another canvas i could just throw on there unless it's mud and then you know, don't want mud we'll see that one's not prepped but maybe i'll just do an experiment what if what if the runoff from one flip cup onto another one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's gonna drip off right away. Yeah. Only problem is it starts to mix too much and then it does muddy up a bit. I'm going to look at this and just see what I like. There's so much paint. But let me just see. <laughs> I'm going to put this down for a second. I'm going to torch it a bit. Oh, I did, um, because some of those paints have been there a while, I did go ahead and throw in a couple more drops of the Spot On Treadmill Silicone just to kind of refresh it up a little bit. Ooh, love that berry metallic. That berry metallic never disappoints. Sometimes it shows off a bit, but this reminds me of a Lisa Simmons painting because she is always using bright, bright colors. So let me just torch this a bit. been on this color fusion kick where it's diffusing color after color after color so this kind of keeps in line with that and you'll see I've <laughs> I've really taken that idea and ran with it I, I have a couple more um, videos that will be coming up with that stuff with more uh, uh, trials that I did but um, yeah so see I'm not loving that so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tilt it that way I'm going to tilt it off off I'm gonna move that berry over a little bit because I do like that I don't want it all to go those orange in the middle are real pretty too I think I'm just going to bring them back and then tilt all my corners since, oh, that's making something kind of cool too, since it was kind of the muddy pores. But I go to a lot of paint. all that I didn't even get that corner it likes to go but not in the corner corner so I'm gonna go this way so I'm gonna be doing two canvases real quick I'm gonna do that bottom one it's got a nice little almost like a tree ring design to it so I'm gonna you to make your corner Sorry. Oh, you should have a better view, so I shouldn't be tilting too much 
out of view anymore. <laughs> All right. And you know, I thought it would be a quick little one, so I didn't even do the full pad. I was reusing it because I had mixed paint on it and it didn't really use the whole thing. I wanted to be a lot more conscious about my pads and my waist. So wow, that is really pretty. And it's okay if I get it on my mat because uh, although this one is going to be really yucky on the bottom. <laughs> Look at me doing doubles lately. I'm going to try to get this paint together because there's big gaps between it. This one's going to be real funky funky as far as colors. Okay, that is together. As I can get that together. I have paint I can add actually from the pad with my palette knife. Yeah. I don't see how those artists who don't use, I don't know, I need to use the push pins. I'm not crazy about the yellow here. I'm going to go ahead and work to pour a little bit of that off as soon as I get the paint together. Oh, it's like real like Monet colors. it again the only thing with the older paint you do get those like up here those white cells that kind of pop up and this back's gonna be yucky yucky but I can paint it or clean it up afterwards here to finish this end off. Let's see here. I did not intend to do this. But and see how do you Hold the painting and not have your corners smudge with your fingers when you don't have the push pins. How do you do? All right, I'm going to have to put this down on my mat, but that's okay. It can be um, cleaned up. Just another clean up. Go back to my original painting. I'm going to make sure this corner is covered. This one is so pretty. I love that orangey center. And look at that. The blue, the ocean blue with the berry metallic. So nice. 
All right, so I need something more for my corner. And then I'm gonna, I'm still gonna save, even though what hopefully isn't too muddy, uh, the paint on the surface, obviously. Because I don't waste paints, so I don't have to. A little bit of this color. So, yes, and okay, making a big mess, but it's a beautiful big mess, a paint mess. I didn't bring my garbage can over here. Right. Well, this looks fun. Nice mix of colors. I have to do a big mess to clean up before I do my next video. But, okay. So this is my leftover paint flip cup. Green tea is real pretty on this end. Got the little white speckles, but that's okay. It sells within cells. God, I like that. Can you see that? I like that. And then, if I did just show it to you. Oh my goodness. This is going to be funny. Uh, the runoff. <laughs> but nice colors. It mixed pretty well. The little yellow, this little bit of slightly light, 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 light brown, but it's not too muddy. But yeah, if you uh, haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. If you hit that bell next to the subscribe button, it'll notify you when I upload another video. Click like and share. Leave a comment, of course. I love seeing and talking to you about the comments. I'm just going to watch that one real quick but yeah um, I'll be doing some more videos today that you'll see during the week and I just thank you so much for watching it means the world to me I'm having fun and I hope you are too have a great day and I will see you on my next video